25 years. Happy anniversary, Community Church. It's amazing what can happen in that amount of time. The lives that have been changed, the community that's changed, and it's time for us to celebrate, to celebrate our God, the God who makes the impossible possible. It truly is amazing what God has done over the past 25 years at Community Church. We just want to take a look back at all the things that God has done and some of the amazing stories of people's lives who've been changed who are impacting the world for Christ. As tired as we were, there was just this excitement. Is anybody going to come? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> it was. Will anybody and, show up? And, and then <coughs> one by one, they just kind of started trickling in. And before we knew it, the room was full. I've seen the video. The first service was weak at best. But there was a sense of the presence of God in the place that even unsaved people were going, there's something happening here. We, from the beginning, we we purpose that it would be simple and that we would love those people coming in no matter what. We turned the school into a church and then back into a school every Sunday morning and we moved. We were in eight different auditoriums in those first 11 years. As the church would grow, we'd move again and grow, we'd move again. After five years, we said, okay, let's start looking for land and we started the search and we spent several years looking. Uh, all the doors closed, there were no opening doors for us and so I went to the congregation and said this is God's problem if he wants us to have land he'll have to provide it so I called a prayer meeting six o'clock on a Monday morning and that day at noon a realtor walked in committed Christian realtor walked in and said would you be interested in this 25 acre piece of land and I said yeah I would love to have that land I've talked to the owner he wants two and a half million dollars for it and I don't have that kind of money he said what if I could get it for five hundred thousand dollars for you and I said where do I sign so we're on the service road of Jolliffe Road just off of 664 for what is now our Western Branch campus but the Lord provided it not only exactly what we prayed for but at 20 percent of market value it's exciting for me on a on a ministry level to see that the next generation that's taking leadership has their own voice, they have their own unique style. It's far more technical and video driven and all those, you know, social media driven. But the essence of what the church is about uh, it hasn't changed. In fact, more people are getting saved than ever and more baptisms are happening uh, than ever. I was concerned because Steve was saying for a long time, I'm giving up on church. And I'm thinking, no, oh, that can't be. And this was 1990. And uh, we got to wear jeans and t-shirts, which is normal today, but, but it wasn't normal 25 years ago. It was very abnormal. In fact, the way we dressed and the kind of music we sang was so different, a lot of the community said we were a cult. You know, you, people were real there, and you could just see, you know, just a whole difference. One of the things that Jim would do would say, uh, how big do you think this church will get? And I remember we were thinking, man, this is going to be such a huge church. There's going to be at least 500 people in this church, <laughs> you know, at least, you know. But I think, I think the secret thing. to all of it has been just simply that uh, no matter how big we've gotten, we've stayed real. There was something different to this ministry. People were, were coming in from literally all walks of life with all kinds of hang-ups and stuff and realizing people loved them and people cared about them and wanted to get past the stuff. In the next 25 years, this church is gonna be big. It's gonna be 500,000 people. Wow. And, and we're gonna see hundreds of thousands of people in Hampton Roads and beyond that, that come to, uh, to realize who Jesus is. I remember I was in a lot of stress because Nick was in a very serious condition in the hospital. And, uh, and I was weeping through the worship time and a lady slipped up alongside of me and asked me if she could pray for me. Never in my life had anyone, a stranger at that, offered to pray for me. I was having a heart transplant in 99. And when I got out of it, Debbie was so excited about the community group network that she said, you just gotta go. And, and uh, so I said, okay, but I'm in a wheelchair because I can't walk up and downstairs. I'm just recently out. That four guys that I never saw before 
would meet me at the bottom of the stairs and carry me up two flights of stairs in a wheelchair just so that I was able to attend. We first started coming, it was in the uh, middle school. And if you look at our East Campus, they're doing exactly the same thing that we did 15 and a half years ago. We were looking for looking for more of a community. We were looking more of for a group kind of atmosphere. And the people were amazing. Uh, just the love and the outpouring of emotion and the and the honesty, the honesty from everybody was just like, oh, you know what? Uh, yeah, yeah. I walked out of that first meeting going, yeah, because I, I walked in with my shields up, <laughs> and I walked out. I was like, all right, <laughs> this is it. This, this is it. I like this. When you're here at Community Church, as a family you realize that your family aren't the people that you just drive in here with. Your family is so extended within throughout this church. And the longer you're here, the bigger your family gets. God has truly blessed our family. <laughs> he's truly blessed our family. And he's blessed our family through this church. Over the next 25 years, we believe God is going to grow this church exponentially. The roof is coming off. We're excited because I, I truly believe there's no place that you'll be able to go, no place you'll be able to go and talk to anyone and not be able to just go community church and they go, wow, you know what? I heard of that place <laughs> and they're doing amazing things. So what initially brought us to community church was really that we were looking for a foundation for our kids as well as for us because we needed to grow in our, in our faith. When we started coming to the church, um, we went to Discover Community and once we went to Discover Community, we actually met our best friends who came to community group with us the following week. When we decided to get baptized, it was actually a really easy decision, but it was a huge deal. When Pastor Michael brought me back up and the, I was the first person of the night to get baptized and I gave him a huge high five and a hug. Um, it was very exciting. It was, um, it really felt like everything I had done in my past was gone. I think it's because community church is all about love. They let anyone in and no matter where you are in your life, whether you're at the lowest low or the highest high, you belong here. God for me two years ago really wasn't anything other than what I had known through the media or through friends. Fast forward, you know, one year to today, I really truly believe that God is there for me every step of the way. We don't stress about finances anymore. We don't stress about a lot of the big things that most people do that don't have God. Um, we let, let a lot of things in his hands and I think he's taking good care of us and I appreciate the fact that I have a better relationship with him now than I did. God is at work Community Church. He is able to do greater and more than we could ever think or imagine. Let's unite our faith together and believe for the great things that God is going to do through us over the next 25 years. As a people unites, there is nothing impossible. Jesus at the center, endless opportunity. It's why I tell you this today, with a heart full of faith, a heart full of love, I believe with everything inside of me, Community Church, the best is yet to come.